How dangerous is sunburn for people? Well, it's so dangerous because it's not only the fact that it's very painful and sore when it happens, but it's that potential risk that in the future for one sunburn, a blistering sunburn in childhood, makes you 50% more likely to get skin cancer in your older years. So, 50%? Yeah. So does that mean like even if we're protecting our skin and like we're, say we're on holidays or even the weather that we'll have here for the rest of the week and we're putting some protection on, and our skin is getting a nice, lovely golden color that we all love and we think, oh, we look really healthy. We shouldn't even be getting a color. No, when your skin is changing color, what's happening is your skin is producing melanin. That's the pigment that gives our skin its color. And it's your body's way of trying to protect your, your DNA from the UV rays and from the damage. And it, the reason that it's trying to protect it is because that cumulative damage does, it makes your skin unhealthy, putting it in a very simple term. And over time, you can get, you, you get more sensitivity in your skin, you age quicker, it accelerates your aging, it gives you pigmentation marking. So it's making your skin unhealthy. And if you think of your skin as the largest organ of your body, you need to maintain it as best you can and keep it as healthy in the same way that you do with every other organ in your body. So sorry, can I just sort of say then, so anybody looking in this morning, if we color at all, mm -hmm we're putting ourselves at risk. Absolutely. So if we go on holidays for our two weeks holidays, we should come back as white as we went? Absolutely, yeah. If you want to tan, it comes out of the bottle. I, but, <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally gobsmacked at well, that. I'm not I'm gobsmacked. No, but I, I thought, all know I, this, No, but Alan, I thought but if you're putting 50, factor 50 or factor 30 on and you get this nice gradual colour, mm. that's healthy. I well, thought that was... Realistically, are you expecting everybody to not get any sun, like when the sun is out, not to sit in it? Realistically, that's what we want people to yeah. do. We want people to not go in the sun to get a sun tan. And this thing of doing sunbeds before you go on holiday to get a base, and it's not healthy. And of course that's not, healthy. not healthy. healthy. We don't really like sunbeds yeah. and everything else. But I mean, like, well, can, is there any way of protecting, like what's the best way for people to protect themselves if they're not going to be going out into the sun? So they wear sunscreen. If you're wearing an SPF 50 on a daily basis, you're building up, um, you're, you're stopping that cumulative damage from happening. So sunscreen on a daily basis, regardless of whether it's sunny out or not, even on an overcast day, the UV rays are still doing damage. And Factor reinforcing. 50, even in, in the winter time? Yeah, even in the winter time. Because the UV rays reinforce old damage. So when the UV rays hit your skin, they damage your DNA at a cellular level. And every time you walk from your house to your car, the UV rays hit your skin and that damage is reinforced. And it's that cumulative damage over the years that ends up making your skin more vulnerable.